Hello friends, this is Ducky Assassin and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. We're on the third level here, Elm Shore. So let's get right into it. A private collector wants to build a new public aquarium from scratch, and they want you to be the architect. They've already installed a large tank to be the centerpiece of the aquarium. The rest is down to you. Get the aquarium ready to open. Remember to fulfill your animal's care requirements to maximize their point value. Alright, cool. So we got this big ass aquarium here. And here are our objectives. So let's do the first thing. So we need five different animals. Let's start with this half and half Chromis. He is a shoulder, so we need to have at least four of him. One, two, three, four. Perfect Amando. King Demoiselle. He's a whip. We'll put one of him. We'll put one Royal Grandma. We need two more species. Um, hmm. What do we want to put? Oh, let's put these two. Let's put this red tailed butterfly fish. Let's put the flame angelfish. And that's it. And now we need to make sure the tank is nice and pert tight. Let's put some kelp. Um, okay, I you can you can decorate your tanks however you want to. What I like to do though, just because I like to do it is when I'm putting plants and like decorations, I like to put the taller ones in the back and the shorter decorations towards the front. That's kind of more how you would decorate a real aquarium because, you know, if you put if you put the kelp right in front, oh my god, what's happening? Why did it take me all the way over there? Uh, anyways, yeah, if you put the kelp right up front, it's going to block your view. So, whatever. That's not really that important, but just just something. So I'll put some eelgrass. Um, let's do one, two, three. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks great. And we'll put some rubble. And that looks good. Cool. Alright, so now we need food. So we need the orange pellet. And we need the green pellet. And I think we're ready for business. Oh no, we're not. We have to build other aquariums. Combined across... Alright, we need... Okay, so just judging by this layout here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build aquariums all along the perimeter. We're gonna build it right here on the top. Or okay, I guess we're gonna build some to the left, we're gonna build some to the right, and what I'll do is if we need to build more aquariums than that, I'll have the guests, you know, they'll kind of flow this way. And we'll just kind of keep building aquariums along this. We're basically going to make this long or tall or whatever. Um, okay, I'm not really explaining that right, but let's just get into it and we'll you'll, you'll kind of see what I'm doing. So let's just start off. We'll start off with just one extra aquarium. We're going to do a wall tank. Um, let's do the configuration that I was doing in the other one. So it was a staff door and then a bench and then the aquarium. So it's going to be staff door and then the bench takes two, one, two, and then we'll put the aquarium there. So we'll do one and then we'll do one more. All right, cool. And we'll do a power combo. Which, okay, that is enough. So we'll do two, we'll do two in there. And we need um, 80 ecology and 80 science. So do we have... Actually, we can add more fish to this tank. We have plenty of space. So let's try to add some more to this tank. So what do we got? We only have one of these guys, so let's add another. Now we add what? two others, and mm, we have one of these and one of these. Oh, we can add more of these guys. Oh yeah, let's do that, because that puts us at our thing right there. Okay, cool. So now that we got ecology, let's focus on getting science in these two. So actually, the thing that gives us the most science out of everything we have is the um, more eagles. So. Let's put three in that tank. And we'll put the mussels. 
Oh, crap. We are gonna run out of money. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well, okay, shit. Let's... Okay, well, we only need 27 more science. So let's see if we can put science fish in here. So... Okay, so that's 27. So we can build six of these. Buy six of these. Let's just do that. Or we can get three of these. Four. Let's try this. Let's try these guys. One, two, three, four. And then... Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Crap. Well, let's get rid of them. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, well, let's go with this other plan. Mm. Oh, actually, we can just put the four in here. So if we put the four in there, that'll give us... Oh, that, that'll give us enough. One, two, three, four. There we go. Why was I being dumb? Because I am dumb. That's, that's the answer to that question. Damn it! Oh, okay, I'm being dumb again. Look at this. Look at this! We can just move that right there. Perfect! Now all we have to do... Close that off. Close that off. Build a staff door there. And... A staff door there. Okay, sorry that took so long. I was just being a dum-dum. And we have to hire someone. Uh, feeding, fixing. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, let's hire two people. All right. We're finally open for business. Curious about corals. The collector wants to explore the world of corals with your help. Your next objective is to unlock the disco mushroom and add one to your aquarium. You should expand your aquarium to increase your ecology and science income. More tanks and more animals equals more income. Also, keep an eye on your profits. Even with the collector's investment, you'll need to manage the aquarium profitably. It's not that hard. So look, we already have $2,200. We literally just opened. What do we want next? I guess we'll do the coral. The coral has a lot of science, a lot of prestige. Uh, yeah, let's do coral. All right, cool. Well, in preparation to open the other, oh god no. In preparation to open the other side, I'm just gonna... Okay, well, we are unlocking the Disco Mushroom, that's our next objective here. Uh, we need to unlock him and unlock the Protein Skimmer, so... Oh, here we go. Okay, I was wondering when that was going to pop up. Alright, protein skimmer. We just need to unlock those things, and then we need to build a tank with those things. So, um, I'm going to kind of cut the video here uh, forward to when we actually have those things, because really it's just kind of a waiting game. But in the meantime, I'm going to um, build this configuration uh, that I have here on the top. Um, I'll build that same thing here on the bottom. So... I'll join you here in a second when I have that set up and we have our um, our things unlocked. So see you here in a second. Alrighty, we're back and we have unlocked both that coral and the protein skimmer. So now we're ready to roll. Most corals, including the disco mushroom, need light to supplement their food. You'll need to add a light to each of the tank that contains corals. The cost of the light is proportional to the size of the tank, so smaller tanks are cheaper to light. Alright, so our basic light is here. So we're just going to add our coral to this first tank here. So we have the lights. And what are the objectives? We need to put a mushroom, we need a protein skimmer, and sufficient lighting. So let's do uh, this guy, and then we'll add a protein skimmer. And we'll add our, our blah, 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 disco mushrooms one. Yay! Congratulations on obtaining your first coral. 
The Collector is currently compiling a wishlist of what they want for the Aquarium. In the meantime, you should continue to unlock new animals and equipment and try to progress to rank 5. As you expand your Aquarium, it becomes easy for some tanks to get missed by your guests. You can get feedback on this via the view rate overlay, toggled using the button to the top right of the screen. Uh, view... It's set, they said top right, right? Uh, oh, view rate, overlay. Oh, okay, I didn't... I played this game for a while and I didn't really know this. So I guess 100% of people are seeing these two and only 26% or 29% are seeing this. Um, oh, oh, we need the pink stuff. Zooplankton. There we go. Uh, let's hire all the staff we can, so that way our tanks are nice and taken care of. So, one thing that, you know, I'm looking here at this, uh, this view rate of these, of the aquariums, and... Uh... Let's do the default one first. One thing to note is there's this uh, arrow here, and so if I really wanted to f force the people into a certain flow, which I might after I build all the tanks, um, you can put the arrows, these arrows on the floor, and you can tell you know the people on which way to flow. I'll add those a little bit later, but for now let's let's add some stuff. That is a gigantic tank to just have a coral in, so we'll add more fish to it later. But. Now uh, we can add another mushroom thing, so let's just add two. What fish can we add here? Are there any fish that we don't have? Oh, we don't have any of these fox face rabbit fish. Let's add these guys. So, one, two, uh, three, four. They don't, they don't grow, right? Yeah, they don't grow. Alrighty. So, we might as well add the green pellet dispenser here also. That way they don't have to, like, go all the way wherever the hell the other one is over here. Uh, anyways. Alright. What other fish do we have here? Oh, hey, we have hermit crabs. Can we add hermit crabs to this tank without the water quality going down? No, we can't. Damn it. I don't really understand that. The... Hermit crabs add filtration, but they bring the water quality down. That doesn't really make sense to me. Okay, uh, Panther Grouper is going to go in our next tank. And... What next? Let's do the lionfish. The lionfish are pretty cool. Alright, let's get rid of this. Fix our tank. Alright. Panther Grouper. These guys get 14. They have a size of 14 when they're adults, so we need to make sure we can only put two of them in here. Uh, what else? Oh, we don't have any... Heck, we don't have a tank on it. Or a, a filter. So that's that. And... Let's put... Actually, there's no driftwood anywhere. So, now nah, let's not do that. Uh, let's get rid of that. And we'll put a... Overhang. Cool. And, like we have on the other... Awesome! You've just unlocked the deep wall tanks. Deep tanks require platforms in the back for your staff to access them for feeding. Build platforms with the platform tool found in the top left. Platforms require stairs, blah, blah, blah. Pretty easy. Um, yeah. Cool. So like I was just about to do, I'm going to put a muscle dispenser here. That way they have access to it. So. Cool, cool. Do we have any fish that have... No. I wanted to show you guys something real quick. Mm, okay. Well... I don't see it on any of the fish that we have access to now, but basically um, some fish in their um, requirements, you'll see this kind of like tank symbol, and it means they're open swimmers. And what that means is they, they need a deep tank basically to, to be in. So what are our objectives now? 
uh, unlock the default tank. Uh, okay, we need to build a... We need to build one now. So now that we have some extra money, we have $6,800. Let's make this even, because if it's not an even square, I'm going to be bothered. Or, okay, maybe not even square, but uh, at least a rectangle with nice corners. You know what I mean. Don't judge me. All right. So I'm going to kind of continue this configuration that I have going on here um, this way. So I'm going to build that, and I'll see you here in a second after I have that complete. Okay, one thing I, I, I will show you guys, uh, just because we haven't done it before, is... Um, You'll see I built these two deep tanks here, and they need these platforms. And so what you'll do is you'll go up here, the little platform button is right here. Just add a platform for each one. The little stairs button is right next to the platform button. And boom, there you go. It's as easy as that. All right, now we'll take a break for real for reals, and I'll be right back when I have this configuration complete. All righty, I've added four deep tanks. They have nothing in them, but they're all ready to go. So let's figure this out. One thing that we haven't, I mean, out of all the fish we have unlocked, we have only, or the blue knuckled hermit crab is the only one we haven't, we haven't bought yet. Um, oh, and then this guy. So what I want to do, I'll make two different tanks, or I will fill two different tanks. One of them I'll fill with uh, these lionfish um, they will eat they'll eat the crustaceans so I can't have them with the blue knuckled hermit crab so what I'll do is I'll have these lionfish in their own tank and I'll have the blue knuckled hermit crab in another tank with along with uh, some of these other smaller fish so let's go ahead and do that we'll do the uh, lionfish first they have a size of 11 so one two three why did you interrupt me? I wasn't done placing fish. Three, four. All right. So that's good. We already we we have water quality problems off the bat. So let's add a protein skimmer, and that solved that problem. And now we need to give them a hiding place. Hey, we've unlocked the the large heater. Um, okay, hiding place. One of those. And we'll add a muscle dispenser here. Cool. Now, um, this might actually be enough to get us um, to rank 5. I also like how the reward for reaching rank 5 is nothing. That is a great reward. Um, just pat ourselves on the back and say, Good job, guys. You made it to rank 5, Fish Tank Guru. Anywho's, we'll add some blue knuckle armor crabs, and I guess we only have one of these guys, so we can add one of some of him, and we have one of these guys. So let's do that. Um, we'll stop fast forwarding. We'll add some hermit crabs first. One, two, three, four. And then we'll add some of these guys. And then we'll add one of these guys, because he can only be one by himself. Uh, because he hates other people, other fish like him. And then we'll also add a couple of these guys. And then we'll add some decorations, kelp along the back. We'll add some eelgrass here and here, and then we'll put some rocks in the front. And wow, doesn't that look fantastic? We also need to add orange pellets there, and that is a good looking tank. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. And we're almost to rank five right here. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, why is it going down? It was at 344. Son of a rooster. Didn't we unlock another fish? Yeah, we did. We can add the cowfish. 
Let's add him. One, two, three, four. And he needs cackles. Cackle dispenser. There we go. That should definitely be enough to get us to 350. There we go. One of your guests needs to poop. Build some toilets so they have somewhere to poop. Build three toilets is our objective, so let's do that rat quickly. Uh, we can build... Hmm, where to build the toilets? Hey, oblique line daddy back. A diva that hates anyone that looks like itself. Keeps, keeps singly unless using plenty of rock work to break up eye lines to other members of the group. Uh, you've just unlocked Oblique Lined Dotty Back. The Oblique Lined Dotty Back has a care requirement you haven't seen before. They dislike congeners, means they only, means they can't stand being around any other members of their genus family, or of their genus or family. For the Oblique Lined Dotty Back, this means they cannot be kept with any grandmas, antheas, or dotty backs, including other Oblique Lined Dotty Backs. Okay. Oh, great. One, two, three. There we go. Hey, we're already rank four. And we have all this stuff, and we can get these fish now. Let's go. Great job! The collector is ready to reveal the list. It centers around three corals. Blue tubular sponge, daisy star polyp, polyps, and toadstool leather coral. They provide... To provide the higher light levels that these corals demand, you need power light. After this, you can obtain the blue tubular sponge in the normal way by unlocking it with Ecology. The remaining corals will need to be sourced from third parties. I've arranged contact with two such parties who should be able to help. Check your messages, your message log when you're ready. I am definitely ready. So let's try the tubular sponge and let's unlock the power light. Alright, well, luckily we have this uh, tank here with the this large tank here that we can put the sponges in or the other corals in rather so what we're gonna do after we unlock the power light we're gonna have to sell this light because um, you can only have one type of light on a tank at one time so we'll sell this light and then we'll put the power light on there um, staff priorities blah 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 basically you can give staff priorities you know are they are they supposed to be cleaning more than feeding and blah 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 I don't, I haven't really played with this yet. I've just hired literally all the staff and then they take care of everything. Um, so maybe I'll do that later on. Anyways, uh, what do we have going on here? Water quality is suffering. Let's add a protein skimmer. And everything looks good for now. Uh, so we're just gonna have to wait on that power light and the. the blue tubular sponges and then the daisy polyps and the toadstool leather that's going to come from kind of these little missions here need a daisy star polyps i heard that you need a polyps uh, but i need something from you first an important client needs a porcupine puffer and i'm having trouble locating one all right so we're gonna have to give him a porcupine puffer have we have we uh bought porcupine puffers yet Oh, we don't even have them unlocked. Dang it. Alright. Alright, well, we're gonna have to wait on that one. What about this one? Um, we're gonna need schooling banner fish. Alright. Unfortunately, the schooling banner fish are here. We have to unlock those first. So, this is the order we have to do things in. Or, not really an order. We don't have to go in any order as long as we get them done. But this is what we have to do. We have to unlock the blue tubular sponge, then we have to we have to unlock the porcupine puffer so we can trade him for uh, the I forgot which one, but one of the corals, and then we have to unlock these guys so we can make a tank with him. So what I can do is I'll add the porcupine puffer to this tank because we have plenty of space in here. Um, actually, we don't. We're gonna have uh, we don't have plenty of space, but we have enough. Because these guys are of size 9 when they are grown up. Uh, anyways, we have enough space. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the porcupine puffer in here. And then when he gets older, we're going to trade him. And then we'll put the schooling banner fish in this tank here. So 
All right, so we have a game plan. I think we can achieve everything we need to just with the tanks we have here. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait to unlock these the sponge, um, and I'll join you here in a second when we have that stuff unlocked. All right, guys, just a brief thing here. Um, I've done a couple other things that I'm gonna tell you about here in a second, but. I just wanted to point out, this is one thing that I was talking about earlier, this active swimmer simmer. This active swimmer symbol. Uh, requires a tank with, you know, that symbol of 30 or more. And if you come over here, you can see that the um, wall tank only has 10 and the deep wall tank has 36. So basically, a good rule of thumb is if they are an open swimmer fish, you just, um, use a deep wall tank or the Belfast tank is good too and actually the Belfast tank is what I use to put sharks in later on so uh, whatever okay so let's take a quick break here what I've done so far is I unlocked the um, the porcupine fish so and I have them in here and actually I think we can go ahead and trade for the uh, polyps the star polyps. So, okay, so before we do that, I also unlock the blue tubular sp um, sponges, or whatever they're called. Yeah, blue tubular sponge. And I have four of them in here. And I also replaced the light with um, the uh, power light. So, as you can see, it has a light value of 10, so we're good. So, basically, what the plan is, is to unlock these. Um, this toadstool leather coral and this daisy star polyps and put them in this tank here. So let's do that real quick. Let's get this porcupine and put them there. Awesome. Now we have access to those daisy star polyps. So let's... How many do we need of those? We need four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. We have water quality issues again, so we'll add another protein skimmer. Okay, awesome. Now, we have this other one. We have this objective to... Um, oh, we have to have more AO in here too, okay. So here's what we'll do with this. As we need six of these banner fishes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then we need a full grown zebra moray eel. So, the zebra moray needs to go in here. But he needs to be full grown. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. Let's get rid of him. Because we already have full grown moray eels somewhere else. Where are they? There they are. We don't have to wait. We can just pick one up. And... Poof! And that's that. Um, okay. Well, let's... Let's fix this real quick. And we also need... Okay, what was the objective? We need a tank with six schooling bannerfish, three different plants, a full-grown zebra moray, and water quality data heating. Uh, I have that, don't I? That's a tank. It has six of these guys, and it has a full-grown zebra thing, and I have... I only have two types of plants. Oh, I guess maybe... Maybe it only finishes the um, the objective when I have all of them. So, obvi ob okay, obviously it finishes the objective when I have all of them. What? I oh, damn it! I didn't mean to do that. What I meant is, you know, it's not a it's not updating what I actually have. So maybe it updates everything once I have everything. That's what I meant. So I need three different types of plants. Let's just put that and an eelgrass 
and we're we're gonna need a thing for the for the uh, the eels. So let's put a driftwood thing here, and we need one more type of plant. Boom. Okay, yeah, it, it updated. So the display looks fantastic. Here are the corals. So let's put the coral here and put a coral here. And look, we win! Wow, you did it! You managed to build a collector's dream aquarium, almost from scratch. Mostly with the profit generated by the aquarium itself. You should be very proud! With such a high-profile client under your belt, you've attracted the attention of historic aquarium of Valberg. You can continue to build here or go on to Valberg. Well, we will continue on to Valberg. So, that was a good, uh, a good game here. That's my configuration again, if you want to copy it. It's pretty efficient. Um, basically the tank in the middle, and then the tanks all around. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching this one. Um, it was pretty much, I don't know, it's pretty enjoyable. I like this game a lot. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one, and we'll be doing Valberg. So, yep. See you later. Have a good day. Goodbye.